Hi everybody, welcome to Gumpa TV. Hey guys. It's sponsored by Hobbiting Japan. We hope you all enjoy episode 50. Congratulations to all the winners. And I have messaged everyone on Facebook, so if you could please get back to me, I'll get those prizes out to you. Yeah, make sure you claim your prizes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason episode 50 was delayed is because we had the uh, Obon. extra Obon holiday. We had three days extra off work, and then we had to come back. Uh, conceptualize, film, edit, choose winners, but that's all done. Yep. So now we're going to back, get back on track and we're going to show people what came in in the last few weeks. And we that a lot of Gundam came away. in. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, of course, we've got lots of stuff here. Ryan, do you have anything big you want to show us? I sure do, Sid. Well, Sid, I was looking at this uh, B Club Resin Gundam GP01. Yeah. This is an incredible resin kit. Uh, highly detailed, as you can see yeah. in the feature. Yeah. And uh, this is only for advanced uh, yeah. modelers, so you got yeah. to paint. Whoa, that's an impressively huge kit, Sid. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry to, to uh, steal your thunder there, uh, Ryan. Like, I'm all about the B Club. I use the B Club hands and aftermarket parts all the time, but I really want to just talk about what I did during my Oban holiday. <laughs> And what did you do? I built the uh, 30th anniversary Ale Strike and Sky Grasper Gundam with the clear parts. Whoa. And you did that in three days? And actually, I did it in one day. Wow. But I cheated. See? Because it's How clear parts. Cheat? All I did was I just built the frame. Just like that. That is. And uh, you can Sweet. see because I will be able to show off a lot of these details with the clear parts. So I'm actually going to take my time and I'm going to paint this all up oh. here. And I might actually uh, add some extra stuff in here decide what armor is going to stay and what's going to go. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's, that's... It is very impressive. Like this. And of course it comes with the Sky Grasper. So you can make the Ale Strike. And I actually put all the armor on here because if you don't put the armor on, it's not going to work. Oh. Yeah. So, just like cool. the uh, RG we showed here, you know, this backpack goes right onto your kit to make your Ale Strike Gundam. Once you line it up, of course. There I didn't realize clear pod kits were so awesome, actually. Well, I mean, Bandai is, is great when it comes to um, the frame of their kit. Yeah. There's so much detail, even on Master Grade kits. Yeah. But it all gets covered up by the armor. And uh, in order to be able to show off some of the frame, I figured the, uh, the clear parts is the way to yeah, go. Yeah, that's a perfect yeah. choice. So I'm going to pimp this guy wow. out. Wow. Yeah. That is, I'm excited. that is good. But I totally interrupted uh, our show here to talk about my uh, clear strike here. That's so, okay, uh, Sid. You put, you put in a lot of effort. That's true. Let's, let's put this away and we'll continue to talk about all the new stuff. Yep. All right. All right, so here's my stack of new stuff. This came in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. And now we're going to show you. First one we're going to show you is the, uh, the Gundam Ace magazine. Uh, normally, I don't think we carry this, but occasionally no. they add uh, a bonus like kit yes. or a special item. And this time it's the 135th scale gun of head. Just a head? It's just a head. Oh, cool. So you get to actually assemble that as a plastic kit. Yeah. And of course it comes with a very sizable magazine if you want to take your so time. So it's a manga? Or yeah, it's a manga. Yeah. It's okay. a manga. Gundam cool. Ace. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. And while we're on the subject of books, yeah. the newest Gundam Weapons came in. For those who don't know, Gundam Weapons is a collection of articles that yeah. uh, have appeared in Hobby, uh, Hobby Japan Magazine yeah. here in Japan. And uh, they will be around a certain theme. So this yeah. theme is the Double uh, O Gundam. You can see we've got the Quanta and the the Double uh, O itself, Double mm -hmm. Riser. And in here is full color articles and images yeah. that uh, you have seen previously in yeah. Hobby Japan magazine, but they're all collected in this one issue. Okay. And uh, you will see the professional modelers. They're all here, along with tips and tricks to uh, help you improve your. The it's Japanese modelers are insane. Yeah, really speaking good. of insane, like, what's this? Whoa, <laughs> is that like molded plastic? I don't know, he might have had to do that all himself, you know, wow. make those pieces and things like that. But if you find out, I mean, in the article, it should state some of what he's done. Yeah. Some occasions they will go into detail. If you really want to uh, be like the pros, you got to do what they do. Yeah. yeah. That's a good so, reference material. Yeah, it, it is excellent reference material. I noticed there was a poster in the front as well. So yeah, there's a poster. Cool as well. yeah, you get a little bonus yeah. there. There's a whole bunch of series. There's Char's Attack series and uh, double, uh, 0083 Star's Memory. And, things yeah. like that. and now we'll get into the kits. kits so are... first, actually, I want to show you is the Kshatriya here. Kshatriya. Kshatriya so far is only available as an HG kit. Yeah. And that's understandable because this kit is massive. The HG kit is massive and the Masquerade kit is not in the works as far as I know because it would probably cost like 10,000, 15,000 yen. 
but uh, this is actually the SD version. Okay. So you get the super deformed kit, but it still comes oh. with all the fin funnels. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And what they've done with this kit for some reason is they've even included a little lotto. You can make the, the lotto kit. There's the picture of it on the mm. side. So it's kind of like two kits in this one box. Yeah. Yeah. So those people who love the Kshatriya. I actually prefer the SD look of the Kshatriya because yeah. I think the HG, the, the normal kit, the head is too small. Oh, so the, the yeah. SD has kind of got proportions mm. I like. So That's cool. Will you take that for me? Thank you. I will. All right. We'll next up here, here is from the uh, High Grade Future Century line. Yeah. These are from the uh, G Gundam. You can see this is the Shining Gundam. And uh, much like the uh, G Gundam that preceded it, it comes yeah. with effects parts for the oh, hand. Okay, so and is this, this like glow in the dark? A little bit of glow yeah. in the dark. It's supposed to be like energy fists and things like that. It's pretty mm. cool. And uh, you can actually uh, swap hand parts with the previous G Gundam. And it will go into uh, super mode with some parts okay. swapping and things like that. Oh, that's sweet. And I'm still with the uh, G Gundam here. Here's the Master Gundam. Okay. And his horse, the <laughs> Psyche. <laughs> you know, nice. I'm not too big on the horse. I mean, it's kind of cool. It comes with a little stand. It will hold up here. But the Master Gundam, it actually looks yeah, that, really that stellar. Looks like, it's really flexible, dynamic, even for an yeah. HG kit. And uh, the cape here will open and close. Wow. Yeah. And then you get the effects parts here and even the little tiny figure. One, one I never realized there. that there was a horse for Gundams, actually. Mm -hmm. You've you got to watch some Gundam series. Yeah, yeah, is this the latest series? No, no, no. This no, goes no. way back here. But, uh, you know, oh. I should actually Does start Does the horse transform? This. It's enough that it is articulate. That's all okay. I can say. Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> all right. It seems okay. that you're wanting to get a word in edgewise here. So <laughs> I'm going to actually say we're finished with the new Gundam Okay, statement. cool. And now we're going to go and do your yes. Hasegawa. I'm still working on my Hasegawa. We're yeah. going to do some decals today. Yes. We'll and start uh, the we'll start the, the massive de decals. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. We'll first, let's show them what they need to do, what they need to have yep. to do decals, and then we'll go into the actual application. Sweet. Okay. So uh, under Sid's directions, I put a, a top coat on the tail fin here. Um, today we're going to be applying the decals to the tail fin, and I hope by next week to maybe have half the plane done. But uh, Sid, what do I need to get this done right? Okay. Well, because we are working with some pretty sizable decals. We're gonna need a decal tray. Yep. Trying to use this little saucer, might not cut it. You need oh. something big as well. Probably decal specific tweezers. You yep. can see the ones, these ones are suitable for decal and sticker application. Okay. As well as cotton swabs. You're gonna to need to push these decals around. Yep. And uh, tissue or paper towel is gonna to be used to take the excess water. Okay. Away. All right. Cool. Okay, Ryan, we've got the decal and decal tray. Awesome. Now, you've never used a decal tray before. No, I have not. All right. Well, this is all you, buddy. This is, this is, <laughs> this is your kit. You want to do this. Uh, to remove the decal from the decal tray, yeah. you, with one hand you hold here, with the other hand you hold here, and okay. you slowly pull this away, okay. and the water will drop out, leaving okay. only the decal. Okay. I always suggest putting the tweezers yeah. down. You don't need them. Slowly. So slowly. And you'll spill all your water. You don't want to spill water on no. decals. There you go. See how you're left with just that decal? Yeah. So pull the whole tray out. Pull the whole tray out. Okay, groovy. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's much easier than a plate. Yeah. So. Why We're we not done yet. <laughs> Don't stop here. You got your decal on. Okay, got your tweezers. Okay, I got my tweezers. Pick it up by some of the backing, not by the white you want. You know, I want to pick it up by the... These are chunky tweezers. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to line it up in here. Now, the idea is to pull the backing away from the decal and not pull the, dac the decal off of the backing. So, line okay. it up where it's going to need to go. Okay. I'll put that on there if you need. Yeah. Okay, so it needs to go around there. Now, I'm going to put pressure on here so you slide that away. Okay. Right. Okay. We should probably put some marks off or water onto this plastic piece before we start it. But that's okay. Push, push, push. So if it's not moving very easily, yeah. this is okay. You can just get more water. Okay. Try to get under the decal. Okay. And when you think it is in the position where you want it to be, yeah. you take your tissue paper yeah. and you just dab from the top, straight down, lightly dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Can I? Go. Cool. Dab, dab, dab. Again. Get all any any excess water away. Once you're right, 
sure it's in the position where you want it to be. And these decals are very large, so if any water gets trapped or air gets trapped under here, you're going to notice it. Okay, but you should dab. You shouldn't Yeah, you don't rub. want to rub because the deck okay. will move. You need okay. just enough pressure from above okay. here. Actually, can I have a tissue? If not, I don't trust you, Ryan. <laughs> it's just that I want to make sure that, that you're satisfied with the final result yeah. of your kit. Well, I want to get this right, but I have to do the whole plane, yeah. so... So, oops, that's okay. It's all good. You, you can even use some mark softer and yeah. go around these edges. To okay. these edges. So you do that afterwards? Uh, once I know I've got all the water out, I'll put yeah. the mark softer on. Okay. Especially on this edge here. Okay. But uh, let's do this. Let's deck. Okay. So I'll put this back in the water. Slowly, slowly. Next decal. Next decal. Okay. Hopefully the water's still warm enough. We don't have to wait too long for this to start peeling off here. Yeah, this I didn't realize decal trays existed and they're handy. They are very handy. I don't tend to use them because most of the decals I'm putting on are for one 100 scale mm -hmm. Gundams and they're small. But when we're working with things that are this size. Yeah. <laughs> and even bigger. And even bigger. <laughs> My advice would be decal tray, and that decal, this decal tray, tray might not be big enough for yeah, some of the decals that you have to thinking. put on that plane. I should check. Maybe we have bigger sizes. So let's uh, help our cause here. Let's just put a little water in here. As well, okay, so you put will, water on. This the will help. You sh we didn't do it last time, okay. but you, sh you can. Yeah, and you can. You can put mark setter on, or you yeah. can put water on, just to allow it to slide around. Okay. Okay. Let's let's hope that that's off there. Grab your tweezers. Or, Take the tray out, take the tray out. tweezers. Slowly as she goes. Okay. Okay. Grab those tweezers. Okay, so line it up. Yep. Okay. Are you nervous, Ryan? Yeah. Are you nervous? Okay, pull it away. Slowly. You got it? Yeah, I got yeah, it where I want it now. It. Okay. For some reason, this thing's quite longer. Maybe I don't have it where I wanted it. Maybe yeah, I think it needs to be a little bit further down. That looks about right. Yeah, that looks much better. Yeah. It goes all the way to the bottom on this edge, eh? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, are we satisfied? I'm satisfied. That's what Good. she said. <laughs> so you moved it a little bit. Did I move it? Okay. I need more water. Give me that water again. Well, so you really have to be careful. Normal deck, normal small deck was no big deal, right? Yeah. You can get water on them. You can use eyedropper or other, other things just to get water underneath the decal again. Okay. okay. Slowly. 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 Okay. Let's okay. say that's good enough. Yeah. But we're not finished yet. We have one more decal to go. Yes, we do. And that's the big one for this wing. So get the decal tray ready. Okay. <laughs> This is actually the money shot right here. That's why we're making you watch us apply three decals. <laughs> With this one, we're actually going to have to put some of it over top of one of the decals that we've done. Ooh. So it could be that uh, when you start to move this decal, you might actually move some of these. So you, you have to be very careful. No. If you don't want to risk that, yeah. you could say this is done, spray a top coat, and then wait for that to dry, and then put this decal on. So I just spray the top, the uh, top coat I used previously, yeah, just, just again. Gloss coat again. Okay. But for the sake of TV, we're gonna try and do okay. this in one shot oh, here. You know, for TV. Yeah. We'll cut corners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna probably want to do is yeah. uh, get this corner in its position and pull the backing this way. So we're not mm. pulling the backing across our our decal. Okay, so you want to pull the backing that way. Right. Okay. 
So you're going to be grabbing the deco from this bottom corner here. Okay. So give us give us a few more seconds here. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we got. Uh, Just remove some of this water. You know, when you're done this, you got when yeah. it's dry, you got to flip it over and do the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you get okay. that corner? This corner over here. Okay. So. She needs to go looking at this. This red line is it's gonna go right to here. Okay. You might not have waited long enough. Okay. Are we pull missing it, the, Pull it away, pull it yeah, away. Pull it away. Wait, stop. Stop. Okay, can you get right down on there? Okay, pull it okay. away. I think we might have done it perfectly the first time. Whoa. I'm just kidding. We still have to line up some things. <laughs> According to this, this is just on this line. Like this. And this goes around the corner here. Okay, that's I think good. that's good, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Don't move it. I'm trying not to. But she's very slippery. No comment. Okay, can I have some tissue please? Okay, Ryan, what do you think? Uh, it looks about right there, yeah, sir. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Yeah. So what you do is let this dry, top yeah. coat it, and then while it's dr uh, the top coat is drying, you can do the other the other fin, and then you flip it over and you do the other side. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Okay. So begins your journey of deckling a Sagawa No. Okay. Yeah. I look forward to the results. Yeah. <laughs> But that'll be, be good. that'll be shown on future episodes of Gumpa TV. Yeah. So to see Ryan's completed raptor, <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch our future <laughs> episodes of Gumpa TV. And it will be done. Okay. See you later. See ya.